Welcome to Health Bulletin. Did you know that Mexico has become a popular destination for medical tourism? Many Americans are traveling south of the border, seeking affordable healthcare options. But what they didn't expect was the dark side of this booming industry. In recent years, an increasing number of Americans have been flocking to Mexico for medical treatments because of its low costs and shorter wait times. For many patients, it felt like a dream come true. However, what they unknowingly brought back home, with them turned into a nightmare. A deadly fungal outbreak has been linked to Mexico's healthcare system, affecting those who sought treatments abroad. Patients who went for procedures like weight loss surgeries, dental work or cosmetic surgeries returned home with more than they bargained for. A potentially life-threatening fungal infection, an outbreak of Fusarium salani meningitis occurred at two clinics, in an elective cosmetic procedures like breast augmentation, liposuction and Brazilian butt lifts. New report published Feb. 8 in the New England Journal of Medicine tracked the progress of 13 hospitalized patients exposed to the F. salani fungus through epidural anesthesia administered by the Riverside Surgical Center and Clinica K3. Reports suggest nine of the 13 patients died from injury to arteries feeding their brainstem brain and spinal cord, said lead researcher. Epidural anesthesia directly injected F. salani fungus into the patient's cerebrospinal fluid, which can cause severe meningitis in otherwise healthy people, the report noted. Over time, multiple patients experienced the narrowing of important blood vessels in their brains, leading to stroke or severe hemorrhages that eventually led to death in many of the patients. Three of the four surviving patients remain on an experimental antifungal treatment for invasive mold infections. One patient who remains on therapy has experienced a state of diminished motivation following a bleed into the space surrounding their brain. The other three survivors escaped with no long-term consequences, but they developed sensory or motor deficits from their infection. Nearly all patients were treated with systemic antifungal therapy, which initially improved their condition, but shockingly, the standard therapy eventually failed, and rapid fungal regrowth occurred in the patient's spinal fluid. Eventually, doctor learned through advanced molecular and microbiological techniques that the fungus was resistant to all antifungal agents, except the experimental drug Phosmonogipix. Infectious disease specialist explains that the contaminated medical supplies used during these procedures, along with poor sterilization practices, have contributed to the spread of this devastating fungal illness. Mexican healthcare facilities are often not held to the same rigorous standards as those in the United States. This lack of regulation and oversight has allowed the fungus to thrive, putting the lives of unsuspecting patients at risk. So think twice before pursuing medical tourism, stressing the importance of safety and quality healthcare. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has issued warnings about the dangers of medical tourism and urges travelers to do their research and consider the potential risks. Your health should never be compromised for the sake of affordability. Remember, your well-being is priceless. Seeking medical treatments abroad may seem like a cost-effective solution, but the risks involved could be devastating. Put your health first and choose reputable healthcare providers that prioritize patient safety. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest in medical breakthroughs and health alerts.